Welcome back to my channel, Divinely Guided Tarot. If you're new here, my name is Angel, and I'm here to bring you another general collective energy reading. This message could be for all signs, so please remember to take only what resonates with your particular situation. Leave the rest behind as always, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I am tapping into Saturday's energy here and just really feeling good about it. It really feels like the lovers are coming out. You know what I mean? Um, and I don't know about you, but it, it just feels like a love reading or it feels like this is a time for lovers. So I wanted to dedicate this particular message to divine love for our light workers out there, star seeds, earth angels, um, you know, indigo children, rainbow children, diamond children, you know, whatever you resonate as, um, you are a light worker. This is your channel. This is your home. So Let's go ahead and take a few moments to call in the Holy Spirit to shield, guard, protect this portal while I channel divinely guided messages for my beautiful subscribers. Help me with messages that they need to hear at this divine right time. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, let's take a peek and see what we have. We have Rosemary. We have the card of ancient memory. So when we're talking about a love story here, we're talking about an ancient love story. We're talking about ancient lovers. We're talking about two energies that have been chasing each other through the centuries. Okay, I like that. I like that. Somebody who is married in the cosmos, somebody who is married in spirit, somebody who has a blessed union. Um, we're talking about your ancestors and their ancestors arranged you like millennia ago, you know, like your contract was forged a long time ago. You also have the Mandrake card. This is the card of sensuality, okay? This is a very passionate love. A love like this could not survive the centuries without that passion in there, okay? So ancient memory, uh, sensuality, rosemary and Mandrake here. Um, it's almost like you two have this unsatiable addiction to each other okay and it's what it, it just feeds stronger and stronger and stronger each time you reincarnate that's what they're showing me i can see you in different timelines like in the same position that you're at right now like your goal is to always be together and you have the Damiana card. This is the card of the beloved. This is the same as the two of cups in the tarot deck, you guys. Divine love reading. I love it when you prove everything right, God. Thank you so much for clarifying this message with these cards. Oh, I love how you come through. Okay, so let's take a peek and see what this divine love is all about, shall we? Let's get one of these out here. And we'll leave them back up there. I'm worried that if it falls off, it'll crash and break or something, you know? Mm. They're talking about somebody with a very protective energy um, over their, their person. Okay, I don't know if these two people are together. I don't know if they've met yet, but they're showing me an energy that, and I had to kind of sit there for a second and try to, to listen in again on what they were saying to me. But this person follows you a lot, male or female, I'm not entirely sure which, we'll find out soon. Um, but this person is following you and almost stalking you just to make sure that you're okay and that you won't need any help. You know, like they're available just in case. Just want to make sure I'm here in case you need me. It's that kind of energy. And I happen to think that kind of energy is, is good. Like I would rather see somebody concerned about your, your, your health and just keeping a back seat 
and not wanting to look like a weirdo, but they just want to make sure that you get home safely because you're walking through a sketchy part of town, you know, in the middle of the night. You're like, I want to do my laundry at midnight. And you're like, why? <laughs> you know? Like, this guy has a lot of common sense. He's not stupid. This guy or girl. It's, it's coming through kind of masculine, though. So whoever this protective energy is, I can appreciate that. Because that's somebody with some forethought saying, you know what? You don't realize how you look to other people. And you're almost like you know, the little carrot on the end of the string for the enemy. You know, you're too tempting of a prize to let walk away. So I want to know a little bit more. Holy Spirit, clarify what this love reading is going to be all about. Um, we have the two of pentacles out here. So we're balancing two worlds, balancing the dynamics between friendship and something more than friendship. So we have a strong friend Best friend, they're telling me. Best friends. Maybe you guys went to the same church. Maybe you guys believe in the same traditional beliefs um, that each other has. So maybe you both believe in tarot. Maybe you both are, are Christians. Maybe you both believe in a higher power. Maybe you both believe in the universe. Um, whatever it is that you two actually believe in, I see it being shared between the two of you. Or I see some of you balancing out um, different beliefs and coming through together. Not, this is basically saying you're not letting anything stand in between you two, you know? But what I am seeing here is that you both have something that you agree on. You both believe in God. You both put God first. But I feel like you both believe in different things about God. So I feel like maybe one of you may be a Catholic and then one of you may be, um, you know, into tarot and just the spirituality. And you're like, I can, I can see God and everything. I just don't like sitting in a church and getting my message. You know what I mean? Um, so it's interesting, interesting balance though. Divine love, harmony, this is a union that is going to last. This is a union that is going to end with you on the front porch. Maybe rocking in a rocking chair, singing a song to your lovely lady. You know, this is divine love. This is love in all of its form. This is till death do us part. You know, this is the kind of love that each and every one of us says we always go for. But somewhere along the line, we we took the L, you know, um, but I see this love, this relationship that you're currently in or about to come into. This is going to be it. This is going to be the divine partner that you end up coming into union with, with marriage. And that's the number 11 card. So you could be seeing a lot of angelic numbers. I'm seeing 55. I'm seeing 11. I'm seeing 22. Holy Spirit, what are you trying to tell me? What's the message here? What's the message here? Reveal what's hidden. Something's hidden. We have the 11 coming back out. Justice. Um, definitely this is a, a meant to be, but something's hidden. Somebody's working kind of hard here. This feels elusive. Guys, I, I can't shake it. Here's how this is kind of looking to me. You expect this love reading, because of all the cards that we've seen so far, to just be real sing-songy. There is a jangled note somewhere in this reading, and it's, it's, it's throwing me off, okay? And I'm going to try to explain what it is that I'm hearing. I'm hearing this is who we are to the rest of the world, but this is who we really are together. And it's not the same. Who you are together is not who you are in front of other people. And I feel like that there's there's something going on in between there. There's a lot of passion, not just in the relationship. There's a lot of passion on the outside of the relationship looking in. 
And I feel like God is trying to bring that to the surface because justice did come out here. This, this love is meant to be. Whether you've currently found this love or not, or this love is coming into your future here very, very soon, which is very possible. Whoever is trying to stop these lovers from coming together, and that, that's got to be what this is. It feels like there's an attack on light workers from getting together with their divine counterparts. The enemy thinks that the way that they can keep you down is to attack you at your weakest. And how have they controlled you for, let's say, the oh, last 50 some odd years? By attacking your love life, by attacking your relationship, by attacking your security, your, your confidence in yourself, in your abilities, okay? I feel like this is maybe like a last ditch effort for the enemy to try to come through, to try to compromise the integrity of your love. And I feel like God is protecting you from those particular attacks. What I'm not entirely sure is exactly what the dynamic is here. Like, who's coming after you? Like, what is it? Who, who could possibly want to get in between the two of you? You know what I mean? Um, but somebody is working very hard. And I think I want to look into that. I normally don't dig into the karmic side of, of readings like this, guys. But if somebody is approaching you or somebody is attacking you spiritually on your mission or in your energy, I want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to try to help you out with that, to protect you. So you know what to pray for. So we're going to go ahead and change decks out here, and I'm going to go ahead and tap into what is hidden. What is hidden from view? What are we not seeing about this particular situation? You know, what do we need to pray against? What do we need to pray for protection from? Holy Spirit, please reveal. I see somebody taking a photograph of the two of you. And ripping it like like your faces are together and in this photograph like the tear is happening like right at your faces to separate you two I don't know what that is if that's some kind of like magic spell or something like that or somebody energetically trying to just keep you separated from your your this person that you say that you love that might be specific for somebody yeah, somebody wants to keep you in the Five of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit, for revealing the, the, the snake in the grass. Somebody wants you to feel lost. Somebody wants you to feel as lonely and as um, unwanted, they're telling me. Somebody wants you to feel unwanted, unloved, and of no good to anybody. I'm hearing, you're no good, you're no good, you're no good, baby, you're no good. Yeah. Balance is coming in, though, guys. Justice is coming in. You are protected from this. First things first. Anytime you feel somebody spiritually attacking you, when you are riding in this north node the way you and this divine counterpart are doing right now, whether you two have met yet or not, just know that you are being protected. This is Archangel protection here. This is balance being brought into your life because you balance out your heart. When your heart is weighed by that feather, guys, it's balanced. And the energies that are coming at you that are trying to attack you, you're able to take that energy and use your beautiful spiritual alchemy and transmute that energy and use it for fuel for yourself. The enemy can't touch you. What is it that they're gonna do? Fill up your tank with gas for free? Okay, go for it. If you want to attack me, it's just making me more strong. It's making me more powerful. They're showing me that movie, The Fifth Element. Shout out to Lilu, little rainbow girl. <laughs> this is a new little, little earth angel friend that I made quite recently. Um, and Lilu, that just reminded me of The Fifth Element. But remember in The Fifth Element, the ultimate evil was a mass of black molten magna of dark energy that absorbed all of the attacks and the nuclear weapons and stuff. It was like, yeah, attack me, attack 
me, feed me, feed me. That's what this feels like. Feed me, Seymour. Yeah, it's, it's what it feels like. The enemy's going to give you all they've got. So all you have to do is take what they give you freely and turn it into some different energy. Turn it into powerful protection. Turn it into divine love. How funny would it be if somebody were to shoot uh, arrows at you and then they just magically turned into, you know, bubbles or flowers or, you know, we'll, 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 we'll go a little good fairy here, you know? Nobody can hurt you when you have the power of manifestation on your side. You can turn anything into something different. You have the ability to change matter into something different. You can remove curses off of objects. Did you know that? This particular person can. This particular person can go up to an object that has a curse that's placed on it and they can pull that energy and siphon that energy off of it like a sieve, like a bandage soaking up blood, right? And then you as the light worker are taking all of that energy and you're like, ooh, this looks like toxic poison. Thank goodness I'm immune to everything because I can't die, right? And you sit there and you take that energy and you turn it into something different. You are a true creator. You can take things that are for your bad and give it to you back for your good. You understand God on that level, you know? What the enemy means for your bad, God is going to mean for your good. And you are tapped into that fully. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Oh, yeah. So their energy on you. They're coming in with Knight of Wands energy. They're trying to create this ending. They're trying to create this blockade. They're trying to create division between you and your divine counterpart. What they're trying to actually do is alter your destiny. So that way you end up with somebody of their choosing. They're trying to pair you up with somebody toxic. Somebody who is going to be major heartburn on you. Sorry. <laughs> I'm feeling some heartburn right now. I don't know who's got some heartburn, but somebody wants to put that pressure on you. Somebody wants to take that, that, that red hot poker and shove it down your throat. They want you to choke on it. That's what they're telling me. Goodness gracious. Stop being so graphic. They want you to choke on it. On red hot pokers. Who did you, who did you, who's your enemy? Like, who is this? I wouldn't wish that on even my worst enemy. Like, who wishes such evil on another person, another living being? You know what's funny? They're showing me this person is kinder to animals than they are to people. They look at people like animals and they look at animals like their family. Cool. Too many. Too many. Clarify. We have the two of wands, more energy, um, premeditative planning coming towards you. Uh, Holy Spirit, reveal the plan. What is it that they are going to be doing? What is it that they're going to be attacking? Okay, they popped out with the king of wands. They're going to be attacking the masculine energy in this relationship. The enemy has marked the masculines as the weakest link. And shame on the enemy for judging and assuming that the divine masculine in this particular situation is going to do anything but follow their north node. I think... The enemy thinks that it's easier to pull the divine masculines back under because they only just recently shifted into awakening, planet-wide, mass planet awakening, right? I feel like they're going to be attacking the divine masculines. They're going to be dangling bait in front of the masculines. They're going to be they're going to be dangling every they're showing me tasty morsels. They're going to treat this guy like he's a dog. They're, they're, they're trying to make this guy feel like he's a dog. Like, he must be an attractive guy because there's, there, I got Elvis singing in my, my ear, you ain't nothing but a hound dog, right? And he's a very attractive man, just like Elvis was, but Elvis was a hound dog. And I feel like they want this man 
to look like a womanizer, a man whore, because when the divine feminine comes in, she's not going to put up with that energy. So if they can force that energy on this person in spirit, that's, that's their angle. That's what they're going for. So they're also wishing for very attractive women to be scandalously clad and naked or dressed, you know, in practically nothing um, to just dangle like bait in front of this, this man, probably in front of you too. So they're, the enemy's trying to breed insecurities in your relationship. So that's what you guys can prevent by praying against, okay? Now, I do want to ask, who is this enemy? Who is the enemy that is attacking? We have somebody attacking your future celebration, trying to upset the balance that you've created in your life. Do you have somebody close to you that may become jealous of you being married? Maybe this doesn't have anything to do with being jealous of who you're marrying, but maybe somebody jealous of you finding marriage at all and working against you. We might have a divine feminine attacking another divine feminine. I shouldn't say divine feminine. I should say a karmic female friend trying to attack a divine feminine celebration in their future, their, their destiny, their legacy. Maybe you've confessed, man, you know what, Samantha? I have really felt my twin flame coming. You know what? Spirit is showing me he's a beautiful man and I'm really feeling this gentle, loving, very passionate spirit come towards me and maybe this female is just like, oh no, you didn't. I don't have my divine love. What? I don't want to see you. I don't want to listen to you. You know what? I don't want to see you happy. Your real friends are going to show who they are. Maybe you've already had kind of a, um, maybe you've already had this kind of nudge or intuition and maybe this is just the clarified message that maybe the female friend in your group that you thought was your best friend since you were children, since forever, I mean, we're talking about years of friendship here. And you're like, there's no way. If, if there was one constant that I knew in my life, it was that this female in my life, this, my, my, my sister, my best friend, my soul sister, that she would never wish ill on me. And I feel like this, this woman, this karmic woman is, or this woman who got bit by the jealousy bug and never recovered and just spiraled out of control has been the one that has been the surprise, I want to say the surprise attacker in your life for maybe more than a couple of years. This is going to be somebody that you can identify because they're going to be the friend that is too eager to listen to all of your trauma and all of your pain. Oh, come on over. I'll open up a bottle of wine and we'll just talk about it over a pint of Ben and Jerry's. You know what I mean? She's like one of those energies. You know, I've been pulling that energy quite recently to Munchausen's disease. You know what that is? It's where somebody either hurts themselves to get attention and, oh, look at me, look at me, or Munchausen's disease by proxy where a person hurts another person in order to get sympathy from others, you know? And I have a feeling maybe you might have a friend in your group that may have somebody with that kind of energy. It's, it's not a good one. It's a, it's, a, it's a toxic feminine energy. Oh, Spirit says that's the truth. And I, I don't like reading on this. I don't like to be the one to tell you what you've already thought and to confirm what you've already thought. Because I can feel you choking up about it. Even your higher self over here is just like, you're just shaking your head like, I, I didn't even see it. I didn't see it coming. But God's getting you through it. Whatever is happening right now, God is getting you through everything. Um, your enemy can't touch you. They're going... You're, your angels are taking you into troubled waters because your enemy can't swim, right? 
So maybe you're going through a bit of a rough patch right now. Maybe you are not in union with this divine partner, but you feel them in spirit. I want you to know that it is going to come through. But if you are feeling spiritually attacked, this is a time to stand up and identify your power within and command any spirit that is not of your highest good off of you. I command the spirit of anxiety off of me. I command the spirit of fear off of me. Everything in Jesus' name. I'm going to get some closing messages for what you can pray for in your relationship or for your divine counterpart if you have not met them yet. So that way you can both combat this energy together. Maybe you knowing that your, your counterpart's going to have some deceptive energies in their future, try to trip them up and make them fall. Somebody that's going to try to take away your celebration and your divine legacy. You can maybe pray against their attacks to help strengthen the shields around your divine partner. So that way they won't even be tempted to look at anything. They'll just know the truth. And you know, you don't even have to know this person. You just have to pray for this person, okay? I'm hearing, was, it, was that a high-pitched squeal I heard? I don't know if that was something in the house here or... It was like a... Like two microphones coming together. It was like a real high frequency pitch. I guess I'll find out on the replay, right? <laughs> Holy Spirit closing messages. Ooh, we have the key card. You two coming together is destined. You are each other's keys. You are the gatekeeper. You are the key master. Um, whoever wants to wear that title, this is you. This was always supposed to happen. You were always meant to come together. Remember, you are ancient lovers. You are lovers that have chased each other for centuries. You will not be denied. Oh, you know what they're showing me? In another lifetime, you know, before you even came to earth, when you lived with God, in the heavenly realms together. You made a bond with this particular individual, a promise that you would follow each other till the end of eternity, that you really enjoyed each other's company this much, that you promised to be each other's companion for eternity. And they're saying companion. And I'm wondering if that's because you know, there's such a deep friendship here. And they. this is going to be somebody that you value their friendship before you value the love that they have as a romantic partner. There's a good foundation here. And I believe the key memories, the core memories that you create together are going to bond and forge from this ancient connection that you've had from century to century, year to year, you know? Mm, I love it. So this is remember your past. This is remember um, who you are. Remember your, follow your heart. Follow your heart. Your heart always knew the right way. Hmm, I like that. Too many. Let's go ahead. Come on. Holy Spirit, closing messages. Here we go. Ooh, we have the Yamiya card. We have the card of resurrection. Resurrected lovers from times gone past. We have the healing card. This is the same as the temperance card. Okay? You see? See? This is the same as that balance. This is you balancing out each other. If you two are not together... You feel unanchored. You feel like you're kind of adrift in a sea of loneliness, if you will. I don't know, I'm feeling a little melodramatic here, but that's what it feels like. You're floating in a sea of loneliness. And you've got this um, sad kind of undertone energy when you're not together. But together, different person completely. You're complete. You're balanced. You know what's up. You know what's down. 
you know why the sky is blue. We're having crystal technology pop out here as well. So you are communicating with this individual in the 5D. God wants you to strengthen that bond that you have in spirit with each other. So that when you do come to meet each other, if you haven't already met this person, that friendship is going to be mm, even, even stronger, but it's going to forge into that romantic side of you very quickly. Okay? Lights flickering, flickering there <laughs> to confirm. Um, this is also a good time to maybe start tucking in a couple of nice crystals in or around um, your environment. You know, I keep crystals around my home and on my altar here. I just, I love the way that they look. I love the energy that I feel off of them, especially like the geodes here. Um, good piece of amethyst. Um, you know, I just... I have a lot of energy filtering through this table. This table sees a lot of foreign energies. And I have a crystal literally in this house for every kind of energy that you could ever go through. <laughs> and it, it's helpful. I'm a very happy person. Um, even when I'm spiritually attacked, I still got a smile on my face. So maybe that's the same as you. Um, but this resurrection card, ancient memory, key information, key knowledge. When you guys get together, things are going to start clicking into place. You're going to start identifying your past memories and lives together. It's going to be kind of neat. It's going to be like those aha awakening kind of visions. You're going to learn something new about each other every single day. Every single day. You will learn something new about this person. I love that. It means that you'll never be bored. They're showing me you're never going to be bored with this individual. Okay? So let's go ahead and figure out what message do we have? What scripture do we have for this person who has some premeditative energies coming at them? They're saying to pull four. Do we have time for four? Two for the divine feminine, two for the divine masculine. All right, I get, I get you, angels. I get you. Let's start with ladies first, okay? So divine feminines, this resonates with your message. Remember, we're talking about a uh, toxic feminine friend who may be trying to, um, you know, has that jealous spirit on them that's trying to block you from your, your one and only coming through, okay? So the first scripture here is this, Mark 11, 24 through 25. It says, therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have already received it and it will be yours. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that God may forgive you. Again, from Mark chapter 11, verse 24 through 25. And I do like that this one has come out for you, divine feminines. Because you cannot hold offense in your heart for the people that do things wrong to you or God cannot bless you with that divine union. And isn't that the crux? Isn't that the divine crux in it all, right? Go ahead and, and forgive your enemy and let your enemy, uh, uh, you know, don't, don't retaliate and take vengeance on your enemy but only when you can actually forgive them and stand in prayer for them will I give you all the blessings of the world. Like, forgiving somebody that hurts you is so hard, you guys. But there's a reason why the greatest blessings come with that kind of a sacrifice. It is a great sacrifice for us to forgive somebody who has done something horrific. Like, oh, let's say betray many years of, of friendship and trust because they were jealous. They threw away a divine relationship with you because of jealousy. You're telling me you, 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 you're ignorant of it on purpose because you don't want it to be true. Like this message today is just like, crap, I knew it. Now what do I do? God's saying, forgive them. They obviously have no idea what they're doing or they would have never come at you at all. And your next one is a viewer sponsored one. This one is, yes, my soul, find rest in God. My hope comes from him. 
Truly he is my rock and my salvation. I will not be shaken. Psalm chapter 62, verse 5 through 6. You cannot be shaken. Your enemies may come for you, but your tower cannot fall because your foundation was built, built on the truth, built on, on the Holy Spirit, the divine light. So forgive your friend and draw your boundaries. And find rest in God during this time because it's going to hurt separating from your friend. And I'm so sorry. We're talking about years of relationship, people. We're talking about two women that have been each other's best friends and gone through high school, gone through college, and, you know, just all walks of life. But the true colors are starting to show. People grow apart. And maybe this one, this one's crossing a little too close. That sucks. I'm sorry. All right, so for our Divine Masculines now to close out, yours is, those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. The mind governed by the flesh is death. But the mind governed in the Spirit is life and peace. Romans chapter 8, verse 5 through 6. And did we not say in the very beginning of this message, and God is confirming for you right now, Divine Masculines, that this toxic feminine energy is praying for and planning and preparing for you and wishing on you to be tempted by Jezebel spirits, tempting little morsels. She's trying to make you look like a low down, dirty dog chasing after a bone. Guess what? God gave you the scripture to help protect you from Jezebel spirits. And I'm going to read it for you one more time. Now that you know that God is connecting this scripture for that exact perp, that exact problem, let me read it for you one more time. Let it resonate. Let it sink in. Those who live in accordance to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires. That's not you. You don't think with your wand, right? You think with your spirit. Those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. That's you, Divine Masculine. The mind governed by the flesh is death in more ways than you know. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. You live by karmic sex, you die from an STD. I mean, you die from, from that sexual disease, you know? You'll contract disease that way. When you lay down with sewer maidens and Jezebel spirits, their de STDs, sexually transmitted demons, are real too. You know, so that don't don't be tempted by that. It's the grass isn't always greener <laughs> on the other side. It's only greener because it's fake. <laughs> the mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. So that is a wonderful scripture for you, divine masculine. Here's your last one. Viewer sponsored. Man, are we seeing like a pattern here? A little mirroring action here. You divine feminine. You divine masculine. T for two and two for T. <laughs> so I'm I'm kind of digging it. You guys are are gonna be each other's rocks in a lot of ways. You're going to be divine masculine, um, what your divine feminine is missing, and she's gonna be what you're missing. It's gonna be such a beautiful compliment. To each other okay now your last scripture viewer sponsored is when Jesus spoke again to the people he said I am the light of the world whoever follows me will never walk in darkness but will have the light of life John chapter 8 verse 12 maybe your name is John maybe you have a mentor named John maybe your favorite biblical character is John the Baptist you know um, maybe Maybe you have a J in your name, you know, um, first, last, or middle initial, but I'm, I'm, maybe you may be a Jesus. Never know. <laughs> I have lots of people all over the world that watch. Um, but you know what? This is you standing up saying, enemy, you can't touch me because I now know the truth. 
and I'm on a path to my divine counterpart. So we're talking about a masculine and a feminine energy that cannot be swindled. You can't be hoodwinked. Um, and, but the enemy is going to continue to try to attack. Now that you know the same old song and dance that this feminine energy is going to, to do, your battle is going to be in forgiving a friend that ended up turning on you. Okay, And divine masculines, pray against those Jezebel spirits from ever coming into to your, your arena. You know, Ask God to divinely block you from any energies that are not of your highest good. Okay, and it's going to be the best protection that both of you can kind of have. So whether you are divine feminine or divine masculine, whoever you are, ancient lovers, your future is looking really, really bright. And I see many more um, reunions and lifetimes after this. This is just one of many that you're going to experience in eternity. <laughs> okay, so no matter where you are in the world, guys, thank you so much for stopping in. Take care of yourselves and God bless you all.